Okay, I'm uh, Mike from Florida. I am. Uh, I was once a member of the Republican Party. I was a, a Republican for for many years. I think. Uh, I think I joined the Republican Party uh, probably in the in the late '70s and remained a Republican through the election of Donald Trump. At which point, I I uh, felt I couldn't be associated anymore. I, I saw the I saw the train coming down the track. Um, but I, but all through the Reagan years and, uh, and beyond, I was, I was a Republican. I, I had a 16 year military career, uh, four years as an enlisted soldier. And then the rest as a commissioned officer, uh, I got out and went to college and, um, and went back in. So I, I hold conservative views. I would consider myself a moderate Republican who really values working across the aisle. Um, uh, but but I really believe in conservative spending, a strong military. And so it seemed to me uh, more often than not, the candidates that I supported were Republicans. Um, uh, even though I come from, uh, <laughs> my parents were very strong into unions and, and Democrats, I you know, held different views. I was far more conservative. So um, the Republican party seemed to be a good fit for me. What the country lacks now is leadership. Um, there is no leadership in the country right now. Um, and I think, uh, having been in the military for so long, I, the, the definition of leadership comes from a general that I once worked for, Norman Schwarzkopf, who said, leadership is a combination of, um, of uh, strategy and, and, um, and character. Uh, and, and if you have to lose one of those two, you can lose strategy, but you have to have character. The current administration of President Trump has neither strategy nor character. Um, so what's critical for the country now is to get leadership. Leadership is what we need. And so to, so the only option I think we have at this point is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a decent human being. Joe Biden will provide leadership. Joe Biden leadership will, will, will find some smart people who are actually qualified in their field to run the agencies. Joe Biden will provide empathy for the country. Joe Biden will, Joe Biden will, um, will do the best that he can. He, Joe Biden is what he is, but he will actually lead. And, um, you know, he will have a strategy, whatever that might be, but he will lead. And I think, unfortunately, any vote for a third party candidate is a vote for Donald Trump. And I think we found that out last time. So I think very passionately, um, Joe Biden is the only way this time.